Lashley to a match at Elimination Chamber and said that if uh, Lashley has any balls, that he will come out and accept it. Lashley comes out to... This is the thing that I wanted to talk about, too. The audience is very confused with who they're supposed to cheer for and who they're supposed to boo. Damn. So Lesnar comes out and the place goes wild. It's like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. And then they're cheering him. They're laughing. They're doing all this while he's talking. Lashley comes out. They're cheering and he's doing boom, 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 you know, like that thing. And then they get in the ring. You know, Lashley talks some smack and says, I'm going to have my people look at this contract and my people will get in touch with your people. Gets in his face. Lash or Lesnar gives him an F5. The whole place goes wild. And then they start chanting one more time. So that's what, exactly what Lesnar does. No. And I'm like, I'm so confused. <laughs> like, I don't know who's supposed to be who exactly. Um, and I think part of that is because that's just how the two have been recently. They're kind of like teetering between both. And I think it, it's almost like dependent on who they're facing. Oh, yeah. It's... It's a great time right now. The fact that you can cheer for both of these guys because they're just behemoths. You just want an absolute, you know, car crash when these two guys get in the ring. And they already have the incredible background of, you know, their their actual fighting careers. And then yeah. you put them in the ring. I was thinking about this during the, during the segment that they could really, like, if – now the Triple H is in charge and is really just like, listen, whatever, you know, gets viewers, they could put on a pretty brutal, and by brutal I mean physical, match that goes some time, has a little bit of storytelling in it, and has a good payoff because they don't have the that Vince looming mm -hmm. over them saying, oh, you're the big guy. It's just yeah. four or five minutes and then get out of there. It's like, why Brock Lesnar he used to go 20. Yeah. <laughs> he used to go 25. He went fucking 60 in an Iron Man match on SmackDown one time. You know, like yeah. this man is range. Let him use it. Well, and I wonder what this means. So obviously they're going to have the match. I can't imagine Lashley's like, no, no. uh next that's, week. That's happening. But I wonder what this means for Mania because this has been the match that's been teased to be happening at Mania. But I think that because we've already seen that, mind you, it was for a title, so it is a little bit different. I'm wondering if if they still want that match to be at Mania. I feel like it needs to have a stipulation like an Iron Man match or something, because I think that's what's going to have people gravitate towards the TV and watch it. I think if it's just another standard match, people aren't going to be interested, because... If we're going to get it at Elimination Chamber, then why would you tune in to watch it for Mania if there's nothing different about it? You know, there's nothing there for a title, so we know that's not going to be different. Yeah. So I think that it needs to be a Falls Count Anywhere or Iron Man or a cage match or a yeah, Hell in Bobby a Cell, Lashley something. Can't mm -hmm. have a cage match with Bobby Lashley. That, that motherfucker would just jump right through the cage and get out. Well, of you there. know what I'm saying. I'm saying there needs to be some sort of stipulation, like two out of three falls or something. Like, I would almost be a last man standing and I quit. Something. MVP on a forklift. Shut up. Um. So I feel like that's something that they'll need, but I'm just wondering if they're going to be able to do that. Yeah. And how that would ever come about, especially because their match is supposed to take place next Saturday at the pay-per-views.